Alright folks and welcome back to another lesson. I know we've already done this one haven't we but I forgot like the latter third of the song so I'm going to remedy that. I'm not going to spend ages and ages on each section because you probably already know it but I will go over the most important parts but essentially you're in standard tuning and I'm specifically going to be looking at just Tom York's parts in this and how he plays it acoustically live. And very specifically, there's a um, Bridge School Benefit concert that he played, I saw on YouTube, which really shows what's going on. So it's not as hard as you think. Promise it's not. Basically, once you get the chords down, it's then about how you mute the strings with your, um, with your left hand, okay? So the right hand part is very strummy. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not like... If you look at Tab uh, online, it looks frightening. It's like you're playing... and doing a load of really weird um, arpeggiation and stuff. You're not. You're picking out the odd notes, but essentially, right hand, strummy. Think strummy. So first of all, the chords. And again, you've got Tab, so I'm not going to call them out. Um, and you can see roughly where my fingers are. So I would go... key to all of that when you start strumming is the the muting so you've got that note there is is muted by a little bit of meat from behind this finger the others ring out as far as the top e bit of meat off my little fingers muting that similarly when you move to this one that's the same that top part but bit of meat from the back of your first finger will nicely meet that A string. Then you can do what you like with this hand, okay? So it's all, this is the key, right? Left hand. Then we go up to this uh, chord. Now look, my thumbs come over the top. That's what's doing the muting there. You could use the tip of your second finger if they're meaty enough, but I just like to deaden it that way. That one's muted by a bit of meat from behind this finger. Then you're just doing open strings. Again though, I'm muting the first four with my thumb over the top. So then it doesn't matter if I hit the low E, because you don't want that sounding out. Okay. Again there. That's the first part. Then you repeat the same thing down here. Slightly different chords. Here I've got my thumb over the top. And you're gonna do that little rundown. And that is it. So let me play the whole thing through with some picking as well now, slowly. Again, for that last part, thumbs muting. There, I'm using the tip of my first finger to mute that one down. And then here. These first two are getting muted by my either my thumb and my second finger. Or just the tip of my first finger and the thumb, whichever's come for you. In fact, you get your thumb over and do both there. I'd encourage you to do that if you can reach over the top enough. And that's it. So to speed.
that's it, right? Next part goes. Along that, something along those lines. Don't worry about the strumming either, you know, just get a feel for it. Um, and again, same thing. Same principle as this. But you let the open, open E ring out. You can pick out some of those top notes. Here I go first finger and then second finger third. To an E. Note my little finger stayed there throughout on that um, third fret on the B string. So two bars of each. And it's a six bar pattern, so then you go round again. And you stay on the E. For another two bars, okay? Now if you really want to be fancy, you can get that in as well. The pull off on the first fret on the uh, F to the E, right? First fret on the top E string. You can do it there too. But I find that tricky, so I just like to stick to the chords. Next part's this. I think the first time he does. Okay, so you've got kind of uh, you want to mute. With your, I'm using my first finger uh, on the A string, right? Because he's, you know, you want to be able to strum away. If you're just playing. That's fine, but you know, it's nice to get there. It's quite tricky though, because you've got to, and then you know, you've got to press down on that third fret and then go back to muting again. And again, there I'm using the tips of my fingers to mute. The, uh, the low E, right? But, you know, don't worry about that too much. So the first time. And then thereafter, it's pretty much. Number the muting. Then we're going to this part, which is 7-4 followed by 4-4. The 7-4 part goes. That's how he plays it um, live anyway. Uh, I think in the album though, it's a bit more. So you could do either of those, right? The first one is. Like that, right? So you've got thumb over the top, and these are major chords. So A strings muted throughout. And that's muted by my thumb. Down, 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 up, down. Little sus four there. So my little finger to go. Down to the fourth fret. And then up to the sixth fret. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up. And they're muted. Those little bits in between the, uh, the sixth fret, right? The other way to play it, which I haven't tabbed, is... That's the same, but you're going to play... Down, 
down, up, up, down. Like that, if you wish. And there's a little rest then for that last eighth note. Um, and then you play. Eight, seven, six, four with major chords. But you're only going to play the low four strings. So that again. Okay, and then you go round the whole, whole thing again. Um, I think. And then once you go around it the second time, you play an F. Oh, I mean live he goes. There's a little backwards rate. And there I'm playing thumb over the top for the root. And then a major shape there. And again, A string is muted. Now, this is the bit that I missed out. How could I miss this out? Ridiculous. Anyway, here we go. I'll just do the chords first. So that's the first bit, then you move up here. And around again. Play the whole thing around three times. So, the chords. Okay, C minor. This f first finger muting the D string, and open uh, G. Really nice. It's a really lovely voicing. And you get the strumming's kind of. So it's you know slow and deliberate, um, but don't worry too much. I'm just playing. So I'm just doing down, 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 up, down, 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 up. That's generally what I'm going for, right? So we have, and take your second finger off. Slide those two down. Little finger on. It's a G chord basically. You could play. Go to that if you want, but it's nice to get that chromatic run in. First finger down, one fret. Open A, which you can play that way or that way, whichever you like. Nice if you can get the open E ring out. D minor. But don't worry if you also hit the A. Back to A. Back to D minor. D minor with C in the root there, right? Really nice. And then you're up here. So let's just go through those one more time. Again, muting the low E there with my thumb. Then you're into the next part. Let's go through that. So slowly, we've got this, um, this B flat major chord. Again, it's thumb over the top to get the root and to mute the A. Eight, seven, six, right? This is cool. It's this chord. 
F with A in the bass, I think. But you're not playing a note on the A string. So you've got seven, five, six there. Then you take your second finger off. A minor. G minor. Down to this F. And then an E. There's a little sus four. Third beat. Same with the A. Let's play the whole thing round, shall we? Slowly. Three, four. Now, on the third time, when you go to the A, you hang on it for an extra bar. And then back into... Go into that four times, and we're right into the outro now. So back to the 7-4 part, you play this round three times. That's it, you're done. So you know that section already. So hopefully that is now a complete lesson. My apologies to those of you who got to the end and went, eh, there's that bit that's missing. Hopefully we've remedied that. See you soon. Cheers.